What is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. As you guys can see up on the screen today, I want to talk a little bit about Mullen Automotive Incorporated. Uh, today was a good day for Mullen, up 5.59%. I know I forgot to mention it, but this is ticker symbol M-U-L-N for those of you who are maybe not as familiar with this company or with this stock. Like I said, it was a good day for Mullen today. Um, overall, an interesting week where they're up 2.54% on the week. In the past month, they're down about 7.5%. Yeah, down 66.5% in the last six months, and year to date, it's even worse, down 84.24%. Actually, under a dollar, and, and have been for a little bit now, 92 cents, which is a little bit crazy to see. Um, obviously, pretty uh, worrisome territory to be under a dollar and, and not shooting back up, um, but that's where we're at right now. And today was a red day in the markets overall. Dow Jones down 1.23%, S&P down two thirds of a percent NASDAQ just down a little bit Russell just down a little bit less um so yeah, for Mullen to be up and, and significantly up on a day where the stock market's red, that's really good news. Now, hey, they're going to need a lot of these days where they're outperforming the stock market significantly to get back to where they want to be and their investors and shareholders and everything want to be. But hey, maybe today was at least uh, you know a good day in what has been a really, really bad 2022. Um, but as always, we have plenty of stories and news to talk about. So let's get into that. Um, first up, we have the fact that the Mullen Automotive CEO, David Mishery, he's going to be featured on the upcoming live interview with Ben Zinga. Um, so that's kind of cool. You know, people are excited. Uh, I look forward to connecting with Ben Zinga later this week, especially after a recent health event that kept me away from the office for a short while. So that's kind of scary. wonder if that was COVID or anything else. Obviously, we don't want to speculate uh, too much into his medical life or anything like that, but um, that's just what kind of comes to my mind. Maybe it's COVID, but hopefully he's doing all right. Hopefully him and his family are okay. Um, but he also says here, I have some exciting developments to share and look forward to connecting with Ben Zinga listeners. So not only is he going to be given an interview, where we'll see how the host, uh, you know, ask some questions, uh, what kind of questions they have ready to go, what David Mystery is willing to say, but he also says he's going to be making some kind of big of development announcement whatever on that show so definitely stay tuned uh i don't know if there's actually a date or if it says when this i assume that it says when this is going to be happening this is going to be happening August 4th, so two days from now. Apparently, be looking out for something big, something exciting, exciting developments to share. Um, so yeah, that could be cool. Just one, if you're interested or curious or like hearing about stuff, that could be cool. But hey, it could also potentially have uh, some movement on the stock price in the short term. Maybe. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. But that's coming on August 4th, I think, on the Benzinga YouTube channel. Um, this is kind of an interesting question and post that I saw on the Mullen subreddit. What would the effects be for Mullen if a possible conflict with China arose? Um, obviously, See, there's more and more people talking about China, you know, maybe invading on like Taiwan or starting up something crazy. Obviously, people are always talking about World War Three. Who knows for sure? Um, you know, much of so could Mullen survive if there was a conflict with China since much of their business related to either Chinese companies and or equipment materials from China? Uh, and it's an interesting question. And there's so many uh, people that are wondering about this stuff. There's so many companies that would be affected. Our economy would be affected in big ways. Maybe uh, obviously a war would be crazy for so many people. Who knows for sure? Um, but, you know, these are the questions you have to ask yourself. I think this is maybe something to not be as worried about. But, yeah, all the companies you're looking at and investing in everything right now, I think you have to ask yourself, how is recession going to affect this? How is further inflation going to affect this? How is coming out of the pandemic going to affect this? How would uh, a big war affect this? All those different things. Um, obviously, Mullen is supposed to be like the United States, the American EV company or whatever. So there's a potential they would hold up a little bit better than some other companies, maybe. But also at this time, uh, it's not like Mullen is is producing or delivering a ton of vehicles or anything like that. So I guess it wouldn't really affect much of anything right now because there's not really much of anything to affect. Uh, but maybe going forward in the future, who knows? But I thought it was at least an interesting conversation to bring up. This is on everyone's minds. Of course, is dilution happening? Everyone uh, since the shareholder meeting has been talking about, hey, is dilution happening? Has dilution already happened? Are we getting diluted? Did it pass? Did it not pass? Whatever. And uh, yeah, the comments here are someday, which I thought was really, really funny. Um, this guy says it can happen every day. You're sitting on a ticking time bomb, which of course uh, the people over there did not like. Um, and then we had, uh, you know, I thought this comment was interesting. We can't know while it's happening. It'll show up later in SEC 5. 
filings. And just like any sale, a sale makes the SP drop. So since dilution is a sale of shares by the company, it also results in the stock price dropping. It's the rate at which shares are sold that'll determine how much the price drops. If they dump too many shares at once, it'll cause a significant impact uh, on the price. So again, we don't know if dilution is happening or when exactly it's happening. I think most people do expect or anticipate that it is going to be happening, whether it's gradual, immediate, a big amount, small amount, anywhere in between, who knows? But um, obviously the history has been a pretty significant amount of dilution over time. So um, that's kind of the expectation for people. I think if, if less than that happens, that will be good news for Mullen. Um, but this is definitely something to worry about when you're getting involved with this stock, of course. This was some of the biggest news coming out uh, of the day or yesterday, I guess, that a lot of people were excited about. The fact that Mullen is opening or has opened a 16,000 square foot development center in Irvine, California amid expansion. Awesome news. It looks like it's a lease Bates too, which rules out the possibility of it just being a weird real estate play. Uh, yeah, they are leasing this thing out to hopefully produce some vehicles to be, to be producing something, to meet in some orders, fulfilling some um, deliveries, all that good stuff. Uh, also, we have this from Twitter, more hiring in the new Mullen Automotive Center in Irvine. Mullen, here comes Mullen Automotive Center near Irvine, more and more being recruited to the new office. Um, so we can check out some of these tweets real quick. Um, we have here a senior program manager and analyst automotive in Irvine, California. Uh, these are like some LinkedIn screenshots or Indeed or something. Uh, Mullen is a Southern California based ESG company working towards the goal of creating clean and scalable EVs and energy solutions. Um, and yeah, their new automotive center is coming soon in Irvine, California, as it says here in this company snapshot. Uh, and then here, cybersecurity specialist in Irvine Health and Science Complex area. Um, and then Irvine Health and Science Complex area is the name of the complex, and it's inside of that red highlight area, maybe next time around. So, it does seem like Mullen is, uh, not only have they opened up a new place, they're obviously actively and aggressively hiring for it, uh, and there could be some more big news to come. Maybe it means they are expecting more and more deliveries, more orders, who knows, or maybe this is just them scaling up to get to the point that they want to be, or to meet their future growth or expectations or whatever. I don't know. We still haven't exactly heard everything that Mullen has in store, everything they have planned. Um, maybe Mystery will talk about that more on August 4th with Benzinga. I'm not exactly sure, but either way, this is big and exciting news, I think, if you are a Mullen shareholder or if you are interested in the stock. We also had this, uh, Mullen, do investors know about this below? Mullen Technologies applicant was approved for a 15 year jobs pilot creating 434 net new jobs with an average annual wage of 53,000. Not too shabby. I mean, not too crazy, but not too shabby. Uh, and investing 362.4 million dollars in the project, excluding community reinvestment credit. Um, so this is a big thing. Uh, this guy says, hmm, can you post a source URL to the actual underlying news article, please? I can't found a variation though. Uh, here's a PDF of the application. People say, thanks. Um, so yeah, I don't know. This could maybe be some exciting news. This could maybe not. I don't know exactly for sure. Um, so this person saying you can see the no end of their application, uh, indicating that Mullen previously applied, but is no longer in consideration. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe they didn't actually win out on this. Maybe they did. I don't know. This is something that I definitely want to dive further into, but I thought this was interesting on the subreddit because, uh, you know, it got a lot of upvotes and people weren't really commenting too much about it, but, uh, maybe they could have some more jobs coming, maybe a big investment. Maybe they just missed out on this. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. And finally, ARRK Germany will have up to 180 engineers to work on the all Mullen lineup. A ARRK Engineering GmbH to jointly develop the Mullen 5 EV crossover. A uh, little announcement that got put out. Um, yeah, with these two companies, you know, announcing what's going to be going on, announcing the plans. Super cool. Uh, more engineers, more people, more uh, kind of you know, linking up together with other business and stuff to hopefully eventually uh, not only get vehicles out, but to have them be really good and get them out at scale. Um, Cause that's what people want at the end of the day. But that is pretty much it for this video today. Guys, definitely drop a like if you did enjoy it. I would appreciate that so, so much. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about MULN. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Subscribe, save today and all my latest content. Hopefully catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.